Many people told me that the Galaxy Watch 6's blood pressure monitoring is not accurate based on the video I made last time where I tested the Galaxy Watch 6's blood pressure after doing a workout. So today, I want to test that again because I was suspicious. You see, the Galaxy Watch 6 has a lot of problems in terms of accuracy. Sleep tracking is not very accurate and I realized that even heart tracking is not accurate if you switch from one activity to another if your heart rate changes from one activity to another, that caused me a lot of stress. But then I checked it against a pulse oximeter and, the, and I realized the Galaxy Watch 6's heart rate tracking was also not very accurate in comparison to the Apple Watch. And today, I'm gonna to test the Galaxy Watch 6's blood pressure again. I bought a brand new blood pressure monitor called Ross Max because the previous test was based on the Omron monitor and I realized that the Omron monitor was off as well. Let's go ahead and test it. I finished calibrating the watch with the Ross Max monitor and I'm gonna go ahead and test the blood pressure before the workout and then after the workout. Let's go ahead and test it before the workout. So let's go to blood pressure. Let's start. Measure. Turn it on. Okay, so we got the results. The blood pressure monitor says 122 over 79, and the watch says 113 over 78. Now let's go ahead and test it when I exercise. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the boxing. Can you see that? The boxing mode on the watch. So let's increase my heart rate. Heart rate is 125, 126. Let's increase it even further. Okay, we got a heart rate of 165. 166. Let's quickly go and measure my blood pressure. You can see I'm still panting and the blood pressure should be higher because of exercise. There you go. Okay. Okay, so the device says 138 over 34 and 94, and the watch says 134 over 88. And don't forget that this is on the right arm, this is on the left arm, so there should be some sort of difference. Even with the blood pressure monitor itself, if you measure the left and the right, there's, there's gonna be like plus minus maybe 10. So overall, the watch did a good job. When you measure the blood pressure on the left arm and on the right arm, there's typically a slight variation of up to plus or minus 10 millimeters of mercury, which you saw that in the watch. I'd say the watch is actually pretty much accurate. Not as accurate as a medical device, but at least it can tell you if you have a problem. So there you have it, guys. The Galaxy Watch did a great job with blood pressure. It's not exactly accurate, and I say this again over and over. It's not as accurate as a medical device. However, it's pretty close and it's a good early warning system. So if you have extremely high blood pressure one day, God forbid, at least you'll know. And remember, the watch was measuring on the right hand while the blood pressure monitor was measuring on the left hand. 
and there is gonna be some sort of difference, even with the blood pressure monitor itself. Plus minus 10. I think they watched it great. Tell me what you guys think. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.